One of the biggest improvements we see in Adobe Connect 9.3 is to the whiteboard experience. In order to really see the difference between the old and the new, let's take a little time to examine the old first. Here's a whiteboard in Connect 9.2. We have the tools along the upper left, which allow us to draw freehand lines, highlights, text, and geometric shapes. Please take note of a few things about these tools. When we draw a freehand line, whatever line thickness we've chosen is the exact line thickness we get. Also notice the drop shadow behind the line. Actually, anything we draw in version 9.2, except text, gets a drop shadow. Now let's have a look at the new whiteboard tools in version 9.3. The first thing we notice is that the toolbar is laid out vertically on the left rather than along the top. We have four different freehand tools. A marker, which draws nice, smooth lines, and notice how the line width and opacity varies with the speed of the pen. There's a highlighter, which draws a line of varying width depending on the direction and speed of pen movement. We have a pen tool, which simulates an actual fountain pen, and a pencil tool for shading work. These various drawing tools give us the capability to be much more exact in the drawing process, and even let the creative juices flow a little. And did you notice that there are no drop shadows with these tools? The text tool hasn't changed much, but while we're checking it out, I want you to notice the property selectors. We have a much more fully functioning color selector that allows us to select for hue, saturation, and brightness. The size tool is nice too. Just click and drag up or down to change the font size. By the way, the same functionality works for selecting line width for drawing tools. This functionality is especially helpful when working on mobile devices. As you change these settings, Adobe Connect will save them for you. And when you use the tools on other whiteboards in this meeting room, they will start out at the last settings you selected. The geometric shape tools now fill with a solid color instead of a gradient, and like the freehand line tools, they no longer include drop shadows. The rectangle, ellipse, and 3D shape tools allow you to set their opacity, and the arrow tool lets you select a single-headed or a double-headed arrow. And there are two brand new functions. 9.3 introduces the concept of layers for the purpose of arranging the stacking order of objects. So now we can send an item to the back or bring it to the front. Also, we're now able to zoom in on the drawing to get finer control. And because zooming in makes part of the drawing move off the screen, we have a new pan tool we can use to move the canvas. When we finish the drawing, we have the option to either send it to someone via email or save it as a PNG file. And finally, the ability to grant participants the right to collaborate on the whiteboard drawing has been made much easier by including it in the participant pop-out menu in the attendees pod. In fact, there are two additional ways you can grant rights to collaborate on the whiteboard. The first is the options menu of the whiteboard itself. Here you can simply select enable participants to draw. This only affects the current whiteboard. The other is in preferences and affects all whiteboarding experience in this meeting room. Under the whiteboard category, just select enable participants to draw. Checking this box will allow all participants to draw whenever there is a whiteboard or whiteboard overlay present on the layout. Check out our other Adobe Connect 9.3 release videos on this same YouTube channel. If you don't have Adobe Connect yet, or if you need help getting the most from the platform, you can contact us here at Intisolve using the info on the screen.